Today we are here for the third and final game of this series between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. So the Rockies have had trouble at AT&T Park historically. They are, they just on Friday snapped a, I think it was over a year losing streak to the Giants at Oracle Park just on Friday. We're gonna see if they can do it on Sunday or Sunday is today, and we're gonna see if they can do it today. Um, 110 start, and we got a bobblehead giveaway today. Well, this is my second Jock Peterson bobblehead of the year. The first one came from a special ticket giveaway. It was Indiana Jones night. Link to that video right here. They played the Padres. Unfortunately, the Padres lost. Despite the day game yesterday, it looks like there's no batting practice. I think it's because there's a good chance it rains. Well, I have no idea what to do for the next 90 minutes. So I guess we'll walk around the stadium. I've told y'all this before and I'll tell y'all this again. Skip the touristy crap in San Francisco and just get yourself a nice cheese steak. Best in the league. Uh, this teenager just caught a ball and told the other kid to get Moss. Yeah, that's right, he did. Yeah. Oh, hell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here it is time for our Stadium Live picks of the game. For our live team tonight, we have Logan Webb with a collectible earning double points whenever he strikes out. So I'm hoping that today is going to be a bullpen disaster for the Giants. We got Chris Bryant, Kyle Freeland, Elias Diaz, Jerks in Profar, former Padre. Luis Matos, because we've been following him since San Jose. And my favorite giant, Michael Yastrzemski. Who will win the game? I said the Rockies. I'm wearing the jersey. Will Logan Webb get six or more strikeouts? Yes. Which team will get more hits? I said the Rockies will. Will there be a three plus run scoring play? I said yes. I love my offense. And will Logan Webb allow three or more earned runs? I'm hoping he allows two, so I said no. All right, let's check out this Jock Peterson bobblehead. Okay, as stated before, this is my second Peterson of the year. I'm doing this with one hand. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna take it out of the case. That's a nice bobblehead. It's gonna look nice next to my Indiana Jones one. The Giants gave me a faulty bobblehead! The guy pointed out next to me that there is no bat in my bobblehead. I'm gonna go and try and get one with a bat on it because what the hell, Giants? <laughs> Understandably, the Giants staff could not do anything about it. I don't know if I wanna go to guest services or if I wanna wait this out. Because I'm scared somebody's going to take my place, but we'll see. To DJ Mommy to play some music for us. The StubHub signage makes this seem more like a Rockies bullpen than it actually is. Kyle's around his maximum point that he's going to go out. He's gonna start going in now, and I'm gonna get the ball. If not, Elias Diaz might give me the ball. Kyle Freeland with the toss up. Now I'm gonna find the first Rockies kid fan. Let's go, Giants! And I'm gonna give the ball to that kid. Finding a young Rockies fan has proven to be a challenging task. First pitch 108, I think. Jerks in Profar, the former Padres batting. Takes a crack at it, and that is a single. And he's going to. He's safe. He's safe. This is a pretty fun fact. It just, it just left. Um, Jock Peterson had more receiving yards as a football player than Devontae Adams, his teammate, had in Palo Alto High School. So Slater, who's batting right now, went home run right here on a pinch hit yesterday. 
to help give the Giants the win. So I'm in the right spot. I just sold my Jock Peterson bobblehead for $60. I'm gonna go home and buy myself a Xander Bogarts jersey. Nolan Jones gave me my second toss-up of the game. I already gave it away to a kid. Rock, paper, scissors for the Kyle Freeland ball. Okay, hold, let's put our gloves down. Gloves All right, gloves okay. down. Uh, wait, so me and you, the winner goes against him? Sure. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. No, Carter, Carter, you're not doing it. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. No! Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah! Oh, he stole it. <laughs> Well, I hope the guy who won that uh, rock, paper, scissors competition actually got the ball that I wanted to give him because it just got ticking. While I was just walking around in the concourse, a run got to third base and Chris Bryant's up to bat. I kind of want to be on my seats for this one, but again, I need to get something for my sister. Two outs. On the ground. Fielded. And that's out. Nothing across through three. Well, through two and a half. Um, I, I lost the spoon. I didn't lose it. It fell on the floor, and I didn't want to use it. Went in here looking for a Chris Bryant jersey, but couldn't find it. We missed a lot. The Giants scored a run. It's now the bottom of the six. Okay, through six. I forgot to give the update through three, but through six, the score is one nothing on six hits for each team, no errors. Let's go to the seven. interesting stat lines one this is the final game before the all-star break I just realized that because I was like who's the Giants gonna host this week or does the A's have it nope it's the all-star break um, second stat line I haven't been to a Giants Rockies game in five years the last time the Rockies were here the Rockies beat the Giants 6-1 so Kyle Freeland I think pulled his hamstring or something Diving for the ball on a bunt. He is down. He is hurt. The sun came out as San Francisco announced that Jock Peterson will be the pinch hitter. Danny Lawrence. 2 2. Hit on the ground. He's going to go three, go one. Nope. But he does get the out at second. That's a smart baseball IQ play. Jock Peterson. <laughs> trying to get a ball home. It falls. Harold Castro has two bases. Brenton Doyle, one two count, one out. Castro's at second. And. That was right down the middle. I can't argue with that. Robar has a chance to tie it though with two outs, the former Padre. <laughs> Base hit. Yeah. What's with the shower chance? Two. Struck him out! Oh, he's gonna run to first, but he is out. Final three, Bryant, McMahon, and Diaz. I forgot if Diaz was batting third or McMahon. 10 years ago, throwing a complete game would be ordinary, but now, I'm gonna move down. But now, it's being celebrated. 1-1 one, one count to Chris Bryant. 
Webb going for a complete game. Come on, Chris. Jinxing their team, there's only one out, yet they're on their feet. That's insane. Ryan McMahon. I'm gonna now make my way to the Rockies bullpen to watch the final out. Let's film my live reaction to the pitch. Webb, fouled off. Rockies are down to their last strike. Webb, one and two. And that is a complete game. Well, the Giants have that one by a score of one to nothing. This was Logan Webb's first complete game and his first shutout. As for the totals of each team, each team got seven hits, no errors. The Rockies left a lot of men on base. The Giants only got one run across the plate, and that was the difference tonight. The next time we'll be back in San Francisco, I imagine it's not going to be for a while, but we got a ton of A's games coming up. Uh, they open up the second half of the season against the Twins. We will be at least at one of those games. We might go to two. As for the Giants, again, if y'all like this video, please, please, please make sure to like, subscribe, all that. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in my next one when Logan Webb gives up five home runs. Bye. Rockies sit at the bottom of the West also.